The way we're working is completely changing. Open plan offices, hot desking, all these things are really cool. But the one big challenge is, what do you do with all your stuff? Gustav is your office in a box, a place for all your essential tools you have in a workplace where you don't have a fixed desk. We realised that it can be quite an emotional journey for people to go on to that transition and we said we don't want to create a product, we want to create your friend in the office and therefore it needs to have a personality. You know, a personality. What looks that simple now is actually incredibly hard to build. We did not compromise on the aesthetics while at the same time really trying to get the weight down. We brought it from 2 kgs almost down to 1.3 kgs without compromising on the design aesthetics. And also the fine details like the hinges are custom made. It has this really kind of nice openness towards you and the felt handle protects as well the laptop as well. It allows you to easily carry it. But then, because we have the friction hinge, this really allows actually to change the angle of the laptop. One company that has taken up Gustav in a really big way is Kiwi Property. The Gustavs have worked really well in our office. We've given one to all 100 of our employees and everyone loves them. We find them really super stylish and contemporary. They make things really super easy and tidy in our lockers and you can personalise them, which is even better. We've seen photographs, paintings, a variety of pot plants actually. It really opened <laughs> my mind. That. It actually caters to a lot of different needs and really to the entire way we, we look at working. Good design is often as little design as possible. And that's exactly what I love about the Gustav. It's just so simple and it works. And you know what the best thing is? You get to put it in here. At the end of the day, and go home. Hearing loss affects four out of five Australians. It's a really big problem. Hearing aid design hasn't really changed that much since the 1950s. That is, until now. Hearing loss impacts nearly 4 million Australians. Yet due to the stigma around hearing aids, most people don't even seek help. Most people don't even know they have a problem, so they struggle unnecessarily in day-to-day -day environments. So Peter, what are the telltale signs of hearing loss? Well, there are quite a few. So you might notice when you're watching the TV that your spouse is telling you you've got the volume too loud, or when you're on the phone. But actually the best example is a cafe like this where there's lots of background noise and you're struggling to hear what the other person's saying. So what is it that you've created that's solving this problem for people? I'm curious. Well, this is it. This is the facet. This is a hearing aid that has lots of fantastic new features. You put it together, put it behind your ear and it solves a lot of those problems that we've just been talking about. What I'd like to do now, Terry, is show you how you can do something about your hearing loss. So we'll need a soundproof booth? No, no. In fact, it's much better if we don't use a soundproof booth. It's important that we do this in a normal environment. So I could be in my own office or at home? Absolutely. That would be perfect, whatever suits you. I'd like you to click on the button that says play word. Moth. And then I'm typing the result that I hear. Fine. That's right. Perfect. OK, done. Leg. So the computer is recording your responses and comparing them with the actual word. And the errors that you make tell us about your hearing. Forge, sharp, done. And we are. Terrific. This shows that you have good hearing. So let's say my test wasn't so good. We can use the result of that test to program up some hearing aids for you. It's a great range of colours. These were designed by a medical device jewellery designer, Leah Heiss. The goal was to make them desirable to wear rather than making you feel like you have a disability. OK, so attach the battery. It's a magnetic battery. It just clicks on and just put that behind your right ear. OK, and it just pops on. That's right. And the little red bit goes into the ear canal. I can't even feel it there. Fantastic. In the same way that glasses are now a fashion accessory, Facet is changing the way we look at hearing loss packed with technology and background support. We're often told that there's no point reinventing the wheel, but maybe there are times when that is exactly what you need to do. This makes a nice change to be outdoors instead of in a lab or an office somewhere, but I can't help feel like I'm holding you up, though. You look like you're struggling a bit with that buggy. I think you need a bit of help. It's actually way more walking than I expected. Yeah, you cover around about 10 kilometres and the bag weighs about 15 kilos so it's a bit of a hike especially on this course it's quite hilly. Oh so what's this then? These are the Concourse Smart Wheels. What you have on your car? Yeah. 
Oh, I need to know more about this. Ooh. So David, I've seen quite a lot of electric buggies around the golf course today. What's different here? They are very large. They've got wires, batteries, motors. But what we've done, we've got all of the mechanics inside this wheel. So what it makes is be able to convert your existing buggy into a remote control electric powered buggy. So what's inside each wheel is a lithium battery, brushless motor, and a drivetrain that enables it to be completely self-driven. There's full computing power in here that enables two wheels to talk to each other to actuate turning and also moving up and down hills. Uh, we've designed this to be able to apply to many other applications as well, for wheelchairs, potentially prams, anything that has wheels, we can deliver self-driven power to. As much as I can see the obvious advantages of Concourse Smart Wheels on the golf course, what I'm really excited about here is the future potential of the underlying technology. Just imagine the possibilities. <laughs>